Yeah, and in trying to sign Sue back, I know it's a real predicament for the team. I don't have any inside knowledge on what's going on there, but you know you have one of the great players uh, who commands top dollar, and he can probably go somewhere and get it. And you know, can the team afford to pay that much to another player? And um, yeah, so it's a, in a sense, it's a no-win situation. If you lose him, people say he didn't do enough, and if you keep him, sometimes it's like then you hamstring yourself with uh, what else can we do? We just gave all our money to one player, so. Um, yeah, until uh, I'm in management for something like that, you know, I can punt that question and be like, hey, it's tough. I, good luck to them on what they have to do. It's, it's a tough deal in, the, in this modern era when you become a free agent. You can go somewhere and, and earn the top dollar, and your team cannot afford to pay top dollar to all their top players. It's, it's a tough deal. And what do you think? Uh, if you could sign Sue, would you? Or? Yeah, if I could sign Sue, uh, again, you know, I don't know the inside numbers, I don't know the impact on what happens, and um, you have to think they'd want to keep Sue because he's such an impact player, yet, again, you have to probably pay him top dollar, which is an enormous amount of money, and can they do that and still have the money to build the rest of the team that they want to do? And so, yeah, my answer to what I sign Sue is, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. And that's why you really have to be on the inside looking at the numbers and figuring out what's best for the team. And um, again, it's a very tough situation. Um, and uh, I don't know what, they can, what they're going to do.